Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy 3. We've ended antisocial behavior. Introverts are a thing of the past. We've abolished introverts. Crime is way down. Credit ratings upgraded because we've uh, been paying our debts. Bulls have us at 22% liked. Keep having... Everyone keeps making online campaigns against us, though. Unemployment's down. Crime is down. Starting to lose political power per turn. We have 11 more turns till the next election. We're paying off our debts. Antisocial behavior is gone. Crime is way, way down. Violent crime is actually non existent, which is kind of crazy. Alcohol abuse is on its path towards getting eliminated. Ghettos. Ghettos is a pretty big problem. We're basically waiting for. Vigilante mobs and street gangs to go away. Oh, vigilante mobs should be gone now. They should also be gone. Maybe next turn they'll be gone. Asthma epidemic. Epidemic, this is mostly achieved by car usage and the environment. Which we're trying to work on by having like the hybrid cars initiative. International Fusion Research Project. Tourism ad campaign. Diplomatic service. Going beyond just having an ambassador. Like diplomatic service can be very expensive, but in the field, national diplomacy needs to be on top of things in order to get the best deals for your country and keep everyone working involved. Welfare. Rent controls. Welfare fraud department. Government gives so much money out in welfare payments, it's essential to allow the money growing correctly people not being exploited. Dedicated fraud department will help detect false claimants, recovering lost money, and ensure middle income taxpayers that their taxes are being well sent, although it can antagonize legitimate claimants. Hmm. Again, it's one of those things that's not great in real life, but it might actually be pretty decent in-game. It's moderately popular. It slightly pays for itself, and it's not too expensive. Energy subsidies. Let's do recycling. It helps the environment. Universal doorstep collection is ten million dollars. That's not too bad. National business establishment of national business council gives a strong voice to business of interests to business interests, and that the needs of the business, both being small, are taken into account. Council serves as a way to promote capitalism enterprise. Get across the measures that the corporate world has much to offer, creates employment and prosperity. I'd like to see what this actually does before I click on it. But everyone likes it and it's fairly cheap. It's mostly just the socialists don't like it, capitalists like it, and it helps GDP. I think that's worth doing. Again, we're trying to actually balance who likes us and who doesn't like us, so... We're actually doing an okay job of making both conservatives and socialists like us, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. The eye tests, I think, are cheap. Not too bad. There's a bug in here, I'm sorry. School meals are a little bit more expensive. Stamp out racism week. <laughs> it's not particularly popular. Let's see the Keep the Country Tidy campaign. 
basically doing a lot of little things to help the environment right now, if we can. School meals. campaign. All right, I think that's good for that turn. I don't know if our uh, political power carries over turn to turn. It would be nice if it did, though. Local blockbuster. Massive hit in the movie industry. Just increased tourism, GDP, and foreign relations. Health is up. Crime's way down. Or it's, crime's almost gone. Street gangs are at an end. Vigilante mob situation's now at an end. At 26% popularity despite eliminating crime warriors of express warriors a guy an extremist environmentalist organization okay still hoping for alcohol abuse to stop ghettos to stop Would like to lower things like, let's see, what's racial tension driven by right now? Education, unemployment, poverty, foreign relations, and immigrations. Where's the armed police icon here? Oh, it's handgun laws. Cut back, aren't police? I don't know if we want to, though. Trying to help the environment, but uh, despite everything we have done, <laughs> still not in a good spot. Uh, the GDP actually being. Strong is bad against it. Pollution controls have been the most effective. I don't know if I want to kick the GDP like this, but... Go ahead and do that. I think we do want to get on the good side of foreign policy. Let's see. What's foreign relations at right now? Improves racial tension. We want to help tourism. We want to help. I think this is worth doing. It's not very expensive. I think we still want the tariffs. I don't think we want to get rid of them. They seem like they worked fairly well. Young Entrepreneur Scheme. Uh, looks like it just makes more capitalists, maybe, which is not necessarily what we want. City Farms. So that brings some farmers to the city directly. This program helps ambitious farmers establish farms in and around cities. I mean, I don't see what's wrong with this. Uh... Okay, you can cancel it for free if you just tried to start it, so... I think. 
Labor Day bank holiday. Makes Labor Day official bank holiday, thus remain writing citizens that it's not about money in our life. This will certainly help increase happiness of the working class and everyone who wants to have a good time. So I negative on the comedy because of a wasted day is a money lost. Not sure yet how you can have a maximum maximum holiday. <laughs> it helps socialist growth. And a tourism ad campaign. We'll go ahead and try that. Increase for relations. Go ahead and do it. Let's see what happens. GP is down. Employment's down. Health is up. Brain drain. That's what I was worried about. Urgent policy. Crisis. Allow genetically modified crops. Yes. I don't even have to read that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with genetically modified crops. Brain drain. That's bad. It's because of our taxes. Skills shortage. Education is bringing it down. Migration is bringing it down. I don't know if it's... it's negatively affecting it. Funding is very expensive. <laughs> All right, let's go to public services. Free school yields meals help education. Not necessarily sure if it would. It reduces poverty, it reduces obesity, which are both problems that we have. Everyone likes it. Brain drain. To remove the taxes, I don't think I want to. <laughs> Seems like the better thing to do would be to try to just increase GDP and productivity despite the brain drain. to bring that down. They're outlawed. We legalize cannabis. The old drug consumption goes up. Crime goes up. Services don't like it. Parents don't like it. Liberals like it. It doesn't actually stop drug addiction, it just brings legal consumption up. Abuse is still a problem. It's starting to level out even. It's not even getting lowered. So maybe a higher alcohol tax? Is that available to us right now? Oops. 
Oops, not what I meant to click on. Get a new policy, taxes. I don't have the power to implement it. Health food subsidies. Micro generation grants. Helps poor earnings, it helps health, and it lowers obesity. The eye tests. Wealthy and capitalists don't like it. Socialists and poor do like it. It reduces poverty, increases poor earnings. Retired people like it, health goes up. Let's do that. So right now we're kind of focusing on health and the environment. GDP is collapsing though, quickly. Poverty is down, but it's not going to stay down at this rate. DNA database. Likely to be an invaluable weapon to fight against crime for too long. People have been able to get away with it. Fundamental breach of human rights. We're going to prevent it because crime is no longer an issue for us. I'll leave your turn. The current size of Social Democrats. The party has more than us. Gotta try to fix the GDP here. Very low on political capital. Make a hundred billion a quarter from this policy, though. I like guess literally like most of our income. Can't cancel the mansion tax. All right, council, what's going on here? Why are you guys so upset? Farmers and environmentalists. I don't know why they all don't like me. It's kind of strange. Maybe time to reshuffle the cabinet? Foreign policy. You would like foreign policy and you're a 4.1. You're a religious capitalist, though. 4.9. I'd like to be able to sort. Oh, well. Foreign policy, welfare. You would like welfare, parents and patriots. Kind of not what we're about, but uh, don't have any options. Economy. These people aren't going to like us in the long run. I'm thinking of trying to do some conservative policies to get our GDP up anyway. 
So this is tax, trade union, patriot. Public services. Two point one, two point four, three point seven. This 3.7 guy is our best shot. Law and order. 2.5. 4. There's no one available for law and order, really. So, they just want law and order who's ever closest to us. I think that Morty's is pretty close. Liberal capitalists. Give me Jesse Cook here. Well, your bars are a little bit higher. We'll go with you. Only got eight points. No fear prod. Conservative and middle income like it. The poor do not like it. This is purely just a thing of mood. It's not actually that productive. Well, I think we want to raise our opinion with them anyway. Oh, transport. I didn't see transport. Alright, transport. Religious capitalist. A little scary, but you're the best man for the job. I'm free utopia. Nowhere else, the citizens of this country now walk streets safely, sleep sound in their beds, only crime is practically consigned to the history books. Rubbish tip protests. Green protests are straight in the night. Environmentalists don't like us as much for no reason. Okay, we've got to uh, fix the GDP here. I can't get rid of the luxury goods tax, but I can cancel the mansion tax, I think. It's so much. We're set such a deficit now, though. It's kind of out of our hands, I think. Starting to correct itself, but I think we've got to do it. It's gonna maybe we can keep the mansion tax on, but uh, now we have money issues out the wazoo. This is a very, very, very little bit income. Actually, it doesn't even help anything. Which is unfortunate, and I'm not even sure it's very accurate. We 
could do clean energy subsidies. Capitalists don't like it. CO2 emissions go down. Environmentalists like it. The environment gets better. It doesn't actually create jobs, though, which is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping it would create jobs. Own fabrication grants. Support the acquisition of 3D printers by households. Slower dependency on imports. But we're all time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Uh, think about it if you're going to leave a comment in the comments below. And subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.